Hello, hello, hello there everyone. Alex here with Luxat Games, here for round four of the Vintage Challenge. Sneak attack, show and tell. They are and rep. B, nay, R and up. Interesting. Interesting name. Hmm. The plan in this hand's pretty clear. I'm going to go ahead and keep it. Hope for another piece of fast mana off the top. Time walking to turn 2 sneak attack would be pretty decent. Light Soul Colossus does kill in one hit with no blockers or a blocker with only one toughness. So I'm going to just trample and infect. Alright, let's see what the opponent's playing. Or if they pro best, they can see what we're playing. Ruby, and pass. Looks like PO so far. Another land there isn't exactly what we were looking for. I think we just lead on seat pass. So the reason why seat over fiery is lit is that way if we draw another seat, that actually turns on our opal. I guess we're probably time walking next turn anyway, so it doesn't matter, but hey. Drop Glyland. Ox Emerald. Monocrypt there was a pretty decent draw. And definitely solidifies my play the seat plan. So we're going to go ahead and lead off here. Casting Time Walk, see if that resolves. Probably will. Time Walk's not that threatening at the moment. Play an Islet, play an Opal. So if we crack the Islet, we'll have four mana next turn plus that still. Yep. Draw a card. Missions. Alright, well, now we kind of want to hit show and tell, right? I guess not, because it gives our opponent a free thing. Alright, let's see. Heads. Ah, we lost. We took three damage. Took three damage. So, two, three, four. Alright. Panic Island, let's try and resolve the sneak attack. Sneak attack resolves, we get to um, Light Steel Colossus then. Ah, that's a Force of Will. Alright, we're just going to pass over to our opponent. That's Force of Will pitching Gush. Gush. I forget that's legal in this format. Alright, opponent. What's your spell? Is it Paradoxical Outcome? Our set, okay. So we will not be cracking this fire islet on our turn if we, uh, that's a line we're forced to take. Another sneak attack off the top would be ideal at the moment. Heads. Hey, we won the flip this time. Wow, that's a lot of mana. Alright, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, almost to casting. Uh, the Omniscience, or the Blight Still Colossus itself. Alright, so we're just going to Islet Pass here. So, Sneak Attack off the top, still pretty good. Would they hit? They hit an Oko. <laughs> Alright, opponent ha is going to have an Oko, which means that casting Blight Steel and passing <laughs> doesn't work. Because Oko will make Blight Steel into an Elk. Everything's an Elk when Oko's around. Opponent. Whiffed on the second activation in our set. Well then. Well then. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Can't say I see that happen too often. I have to feel like the opponent's going to turn one of their mocks in here into an elk and start getting in at us. It's pretty reasonable, really. Whereas on the other side, we're hoping to draw into sneak attack. Uh, 
But it's deciding whether or not they make a food token, whether or not they make an elk. I think making an elk here is correct. If we were going to draw, maybe we should have countered the Oko. Hmm. Or tried to counter the Oko, rather. Let's see if we would have drawn Force. If so, that's a potential misplay. Nope. Uh, let's go with Heads. Who on the flip? Woohoo. Show and tell. Hmm. So we're going to play Seat this turn. Show and tell is awesome if we draw Cunning Wish, but we have to draw Cunning Wish, basically. Ooh, Ponder. That's a good one to have our opponent. So next turn we'll have 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 mana. So we can cast Omniscience next turn. Hard cast. So we don't even need show and tell to risk putting in something for our opponent. We just need to draw into like an Emrakul. Emrakul would be ideal because we can go Emrakul plus Blight Steel and there's no way the opponent survives that. Additionally, we can still just draw Sneak Attack off the top. So we have a couple live draws here. Couple live draws. I feel the opponent should make the Mox Ruby into a 3-3 and get in at us. So let's, excuse me, let's see what they choose to do. Alright, opponent chooses to make some food. They don't want to use up their ruby as well. Interesting choice. To be fair, that is another permanent, so that might be a consideration as well. this is this another oko huh I think I'm okay with this this is pretty powerful ancient grudge plus flashback yeah uh, if they take out our sea this night obviously our opals also off yeah yeah so now what we need to draw off the top is one Emrakul, please. One Emrakul, please. Volcanic Island. It's a volcanic island. All right, well, I think we have to jam while the opponent, the opponent has no cards in hand anyways, so we're guaranteed to be able to get in with this. Let's go ahead and show and tell. Omniscience. Cast Omniscience with Omniscience. I don't want to use Blight Steel because we can still draw a Sneak Attack off the top. I think that's a pretty sneaky way to still win the game. Whereas if we just cast it, it's just going to become an Elk. So in two turns, if that, or I guess if we don't draw something next turn, we can play Blight Steel and get it Elk so that we can block. It does lose indestructible, which is a little unfortunate, but hey, you know, that be the way it is sometimes. The opponent did remove a ton of our mana. We were close to 10 and they just went, nope, you're going to go to zero. Let's see, they must have drawn something hit there because they fetched. Ooh, they're holding up hard cast force. Okay. So we need to draw Emrakul right now. One Emrakul, please. That's the least likely of our big cards to draw, too. So I'm going to go ahead and just concede here, because if they make the ruby into a thing, they attack. Wow, that's, that was a crazy game. That was a crazy game. Oko, Oko, Oko. Oko, Oko, Oko. Light still would have got there if it wasn't for that Oko, Oko, Oko. So let's see. Is there any other changes we want to do? Other than banning Oko. 
<laughs> the play do we want Chalice of the Void? Maybe. Probably reasonable. I definitely think we have to bring in the other Brasage here, though. We also have the Tinker line, if we ever get to draw into that. Tinker into Blightsteel is pretty good against most decks, but it's pretty bad against Oko. Oko, Oko, Oko. What a magic card. What a magic card. So the line that game is clearly uh, to avoid having the opponent Oko us, or to draw the Emrakul. Mind you, Gristlebrand still would have been decent too, because they can only Oko one of our things. Who would like to play first? Huh. Huh. I'm gonna keep this. I'm, uh... I'm gonna keep this. Let's go ahead and start with uh, Mox Ruby. Volcanic Island Time Walk. We're kind of hoping to hit Blight Steel now. Because if we hit Blight Steel and they don't have a force, they have died. Alright, Mental Misstep's not bad. I feel like they'll have a kind of a hard way removing this once it's already in play. So I think I'm okay with using the uh, mana from the Lotus here for the sneak attack. All right, sweet. Uh, now sneak attack's down. So now I think we just pass the turn. We have mental misstep and we have Emrakul. So let's see what our opponent unlo unloads with. All right, opponent also has a Black Lotus. All right, opponent, you also have a Black Lotus. Three blue. Fetch, all right. I'm like, are they gonna cast Show and Tell? Are they gonna cast Sneak Attack? All right, preordained. All right, it looks like it was just Black Lotus with a couple cantrips, which is fine. Maybe we should have missed up the preordain, but I, th I think that's fine. It feels like bait to me. This feels like a hand where they have recall. So we'll see. Possible I should have misstepped that, but I, I, I don't feel it's correct. If you feel it's correct, though, please leave a comment down below. We're hoping they play out a couple of artifact mana and then pass. See if we get that lucky. Opponent's gonna time walk. Yeah, that's fine. Same thing we did. One good turn and all that. Yep. So we both had the same number of turns. We both taken two by taking our turn twice in a row. Is this a Renin 6? Interesting. But it reconsidering their options. Looks like it's probably a Renin 6. Alright, they're passing the turn, it looks like. Let's go ahead and try and draw with Islet and see if they have Stifle or something. Doesn't look like it. Alright, let's draw for turn. See what we draw. Not exactly ideal. Hmm. I think we just have to take away the two lands here. Let's go ahead and activate off Ruby. Put an Emrakul. Go to combat. They might just concede to the Emrakul. They do just concede to the Emrakul. Fabulous. Wow. Wow! Opponent's hand was pretty good, actually. They did have the Renin 6, too. Wow. Yeah, they just were... 
They they had no more lands to come back from that. <sighs> yeah. Chalice probably comes out. I think I'm actually going to bring in Intuition to try and find the other half of whatever combo we're going for. Wow, opponent's hand was pretty good there. They must have drawn the force or preordained into the force because they obviously didn't force our um, sneak attack on one. Well, sneak attack on two. We time walked on one. That was pretty sweet. Opponent gets to be on the play, which is a little less than ideal for us, but we get a Boseju, so let's see what we can do. What say you? Boseju. Just a slow sneak attack that's vulnerable to a lot. One piece of interaction. You have both pieces. We're going to mulligan this. I could see a world where it's correct to keep. I'm going to go ahead and keep this one now. Bottom blight steel so that uh, Tinker's still a good draw. <laughs> so the opponent leads on. Misty Rainforest Mock Sapphire, that's fine. Is this a recall? Because if so, we're going to misstep the hell out of a recall. Yes, we are misstepping the hell out of a recall. Ah, uh, they have further interaction. All right, that's, that's fair. The opponent gets a recall. Back up six cards in hand. Hopefully no force when we draw Black Lotus. Not quite that lucky. Ponders more looks, brainstorms more cards. I think we're going to go ahead and lead off on the ponder. Recall of our own. We have to draw a Gristlebrand. Hmm. We also get a force out of the deal. Kind of down on that. Let's go ahead and pass the turn. Looks like we're holding up Pyroblast here. Red Horde Arcanist. <sighs> Red Horde Arcanist recalls kind of a combo, isn't it? Uh, let's go ahead and recall ourselves. Hopefully draw into a land. We will absolutely force to fight over this if the opponent's considering fighting us. Alright. But it looks like they were considering fighting us, but decided not to. Go ahead and brainstorm here. Our hand's pretty good if we just hit like a lotus. Right, we did not. Go and put back Bristlebrand and Volcanic Island like that. Pass the turn. So next turn we do get to show and tell in Gristlebrand. So I think I think there's probably a world where we let our opponent recall here and then just go to discard. Current gets to Ancestral Recall. Is that something we want to do something about? I don't think we can. All right. Fight opponent. So they have 10 cards in hand, so depending on what they have in hand, they're going to have to go to discard. Well, Lotus there's a little bit rough for us because then they have hard cast force a well on their end. Also, we just preordain our next turn and see where that leads us to. Because we really don't need more than one Gristlebrand, and that's currently the top card of our library after we take our draw.
looks like they're considering whether they play a card or whether they lose a card to clean up. Kind of a fun game three. Definitely a lot more back and forth than our previous games. We're not quite dead, although not two ancestral recalls resolving is not exactly what you want to have happen in a game of magic. Alright, is this a mana gorge hydra or a Tarmogoyf? What is this? What be you, opponent's card? It's a goof. And an oof. Oof and an oof. Well, and start with the preordain because Mox Ruby's turned off now. Bottom, bottom. Ooh, Emrakul. Ooh, Emrakul. All right, so. Possibly should just jam show and tell there to try and put Gristlebrand into play. Current currently has no good instance of sorceries in the grave though. I feel like they have this probably pretty locked up, but we're gonna try and get our uh get there. Preordain's fine. Right, goes to attacks, gets to preordain a second time because that's what Red Horde Arkans do. Just how they do. Yep. I wonder if this all came down to us not forcing that second recall. Very possible. Very, very possible. Let's go ahead and take our bunches of damages. Down to nine. And let's draw an omniscience off the top, please. One omniscience off the top. That's an islet. So let's see. Okay, so I'm trying to determine is it better to put in a gristle brand here? Probably is. Or is it better to, yeah, I think it's better to put in Gristlebrand than trying to draw to Omniscience. Let's try and show and tell. Our opponent almost assuredly with seven cards in hand after double recall has a million pieces of interaction. This is a Pyroblast. We're going to force and then we're going to concede when they cast another Counterspell. Everyone ready? You have another Counterspell, right opponent? You have another Counterspell, right opponent? Ah, uh, bet you they wouldn't be fetching if they didn't. Please tell me this is a brainstorm. Please tell me this is a brainstorm. That's a red mana. All right. Well played, opponent. Opponent gets it to uh two one. So that's round four of the vintage challenge. Alex here with Luxite Games reminding you to comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you so much for tuning in. See you next time. Have an awesome day.